Welcome to the Persian Gulf. Now, I have been asked by an acquaintance of mine to test out his new PvE scenario that is currently in beta testing. So please keep in mind that everything you are seeing here is beta testing and not final. Our task will be to try and clear out enemy forces close to Siri and Abu Musa Islands. We're not going to engage the island forces directly. Rather, we are going to try and clear out any ships close to the islands. So, we're gonna make this short and sweet. Uh, let's see, we need here a... We're gonna place a markdown for our first waypoint, which is going to be the islands of the world. And uh, that is going to be B1. Abu Musa, uh, once we've actually got that properly tagged, is going to be B2. And Siri is going to be B3. Uh, we might actually... Nah. There we go. So, Islands of the World is B1. Uh, Abu Musa is B2, and Siri Island is B3. Now, apparently the thing that tells me where my aircraft is, is apparently bugged. So I have no idea where I'm starting from, but that's why we have these... Oh wait, I should be probably on this airstrip, by the way. That's an educated guess. Uh, but, at any rate. For today, we have an AJS-47 Vigan. And we are going to bring up our loadout label. And uh, I would much rather have a decent assortment of... Yeah, we have hard targets here for countermeasures. But for some reason, it appears locked. I can't actually switch anything just yet. So I'm simply going to... Yeah, here we go. Seed, RB75T, um, and countermeasures pods. That is exactly what I want. So, we're going to pick that. Request rearming. And we're going to have these Copy. good fellas on the line rearm the aircraft for me. While the RB15 is a good missile, it's not really what I want right now. I want a little more precision and control over what I'm doing. Also, I have no idea why the RB-75T is painted in a splinter fashion. I need to look that up. I mean, why? I don't know if it's a bug or anything. I don't have any... I don't remember yeah, having complete. installed such a mod, so... At any rate, our weapons are online, and we can switch up our kneeboard. And we can go through the different cartridges. There we go. Data coverage from marks on F10 maps contains three marks. Good. We have loaded it in. So let's proceed with startup. Quiet you. Engine is booting up. Canopy is closing. Canopy is secure. Lower our seat a little bit. Switch pod to DJ. At least that's what, and switch, K, yeah, KB pod is on mode 2. We're actually going to switch it to automatic. Wait a little bit for our flight computer. Uh, we will not tri trigger the flight computer until we're on the actual line. Field 1-1. Clear to taxi to runway 1-3. Path 1. 
Copy that. Runway 13L. We are a little bit fast here, so I'm gonna just slow down the bird a bit. I know we're leaving skid marks, but hey. I can only assume that we might have stolen these uh, things from a new... There's something in the air over there. I hope it's not going to try and land. But I can see the navigational lights. So, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to go to the parent menu. We're going to other AI support, request seed, and we're going to receive... A request seed on both Siri and Abu Musa. So, two F 16s are now en route to Siri to command seed operations. AI support, request seed, Abu Musa. Okay, so the F 16 should be en route. I don't know if they are spawning in the air or if they're starting on the ground. I c can only assume they're starting on the ground. And that is why I am making sure to handle calling for them right now. Since we are going to engage targets in and around Sirim and Abu Musa, it's going to be easier for us if we simply don't need to worry a lot about what's actually on the islands. Switch to output mode, switch to nav. Yeah, we're good. Shooter Rotina. Okay, so we have left the airbase and are right now heading for waypoint one. I am kind of curious to check out what the hell I have in front of me. And. That looks like the F 16s I ordered. Meaning that the F 16s are most likely. Oh, I would just wish the game could stop lagging. It's not like there is actually any other here. Oh, that's a C-130 right there. Okay, so the F-16s that have been scrambled to engage air defenses on the islands. Uh, they're gonna reach that place long after I do. Tally C-130. The C-130 actually have to go around now. Put us on the path to waypoint one. Adjusting heading. There we go. Heading for waypoint one. Now, a little bird whispered in my ear that since this scenario is actually meant to be winnable, um, it means that the ships are part of stuff that will not respawn. So, I figure that my best way to make an impression upon this scenario would be to engage the ships. Now. One would imagine I would use the Vigans RB04 to engage the ships. But the thing is, <laughs> the latest patch made it a bit more tricky to use the RB04 in the Persian Gulf. Because they will go for tankers, they will go for civilian cargo ships, and there are quite a lot of them. So I have decided that it is simply superior to be using the anti-ship version of the Swedish Maverick, the RV-75. Now, I could be completely and utterly wrong about this. I completely allow for the possibility that this is a stupid and asinine idea. The enemy ships are supposed to have SA-8Ns on board, and that could ruin my entire day. However, I am confident enough that I will be able to 
engage and destroy at least one of the ships. Once that is done, we will head to the nearest airstrip, and then we'll do it all over again. So, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to set our radar to INS mode, RB-75. Oh, wait. Crap, I might have accidentally tried and reset my... Nah, I should be good on that. I hope. We're gonna check the time. I might have fucked something up with the navigational points, but it doesn't matter. When it comes to Abu Musa, I know how to navigate to that location in... So, yeah, there we go. That was what I was looking for. Yeah, we actually have uh, the islands of... No, that's actually Carthage Harbor. I didn't know I was actually using the Carthage Harbor uh, as a landmark. Uh, the I don't know why I call it Carthage Harbor, but I think it is because... It kind of looks like this unique shape that was in the harbor of Carthage. And since it has that shape, it, there are actually several of them. So it's horrible to use as a navigational landmark. But it's a good way to know that you are close to Dubai. And to me that is... Uh, yeah. So we have a... We now know a little bit about where our... IR sensor is showing. Good. <sighs> yeah, there's at least one large and one small ship. I think whatever ship is on the left side is uh, most likely going to be a... Yeah, that's a friendly. That's a tanker. We're gonna push some distance out from the island and uh, try and come in at an angle where we are less vulnerable for any air defenses on the island proper. Let's hope that jammer does his job too. I'm not really keen on having flown all this way for nothing. Okay, target ahead is... Uh... There we go. Lock on. Come on, I need to find that thing before. Okay, now we're in trouble. Deploying countermeasures. I have a lock on one ship ahead of me. Rifle! Yeah, it worked. Nice. Rifle and rifle, we are bugging out. We need to keep an eye out for those oil platforms and make sure they're not armed in any way. Okay, cease the deployment of countermeasures. 
and take us back. I think we got a hit. We got at least one hit on what might actually be an enemy ship. And we're bypassing the oil platforms right now. But there is another missile coming in. Full speed. Popping the countermeasures. All right, I think we're clear. Check systems, we are good on fuel. Let's check where...